I've had a right nightmare trying to film this video. I'll tell you that now. Don't mind the mess in the background. Anyway, welcome back to Belle's Bookcase. Today I am combining two videos into one. First I'm going to talk about what I read in March. Yep, March. Oh, I just painted my toenails and a little bit sticky. And the reason I didn't do this as a separate video to my April TBR is because although I read five books, um, they're all part of the same series, so it's kind of a waste of time to make a whole video about it. Long story short, I read the Shadow Me series, except the last book, because I didn't realise there was six, and the box set that I got for Christmas um, only came with five, so obviously that was made before she came out with the sixth book, which is kind of annoying because... I was really, on the last book, I was really just ready to be done with it. Like, not that I didn't enjoy the series, but I just can't. Five books is a lot. Never mind six. So yeah, I got a little bit bored by the end of it, but we're just going to do... <laughs> was there a hair on my face that whole time? So the first book, obviously, is Shadow Me. Pretty much to sum it up, it's about a girl who has powers, which means she can't touch people because she hurts them. The first book starts with her kind of locked up by the government and it pretty much just follows her along the journey of what's going on in her mind, kind of figuring out what's going on in the world. Eventually another guy gets put in the cell with her and yeah, it pretty much just follows those two. It's just world building, like it's literally just world building for the first book. So it was decent. I can't remember what I rated it on Goodreads, but I think I'd give it like a three and a half. It was okay. It's like any other series really the first book's always just world building so this second book is the same kind of thing it's unravel me it was more world building but then towards the end of it it got really good so i think i gave this like maybe i would give it a four anyway if i didn't give it a four star before because it was better than the first book because the end got really interesting and we get a lot more of a new character who everybody loves you probably know who I'm talking about. We're talking about Warner. So you get a lot more of him in this book. I can't really say much about this series without giving it away, which is another reason why I didn't just want to do a separate video on this series. Because really there isn't a lot to say. Like you can't say what's happening in this book without spoiling this book. And the same goes for the rest of the series. My favourite book out of the whole series is Ignite Me. And not only is the cover my favourite cover, but the whole story like from start to end had me hooked. I give this a five star. There's not really much to say about it except the whole thing is interesting. There's a lot going on. You're learning a lot about the world. Oh, and by the way, I just want to add to this that I didn't read the novellas because six books is already enough for me. Fourth book is Restore Me. This was the worst one for me out of the whole thing. I honestly got bored out of my brain. Like, this almost put me in a reading slump. But then towards the end, I guess, maybe a little bit towards the end, it got a little bit interesting. But still, honestly... I didn't really enjoy this one, like, at all. But I still give it three stars because it's part of a good series, so. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about this, except I didn't enjoy it. I had to force myself to read that one. Um, the fifth book is Defy Me, and I actually gave this five stars as well. Well, now I think about it, I think I'd give it 4.75 because it wasn't as good as Ignite Me. And really, it should have been the last book. It honestly should have been the last book for me. I felt like, obviously, there's things that aren't resolved. But I feel like she could have just put them in. She could have just put it at the end of this book. Like, it just really felt like the end to me. Like, this is it. This is finally it. And then it's like... But no. And you can kind of guess from reading this what's going to happen in the sixth book. Which is kind of annoying because it's like, do I really need to read it? Like, I kind of know what's going to happen. But what was good about this is you found out a lot that you didn't know and that you didn't expect it took a different turn it took quite a gruesome turn some parts i was a bit like oh i don't really want to imagine that but it added a lot more to the story it gave it a little bit more reason as to why things have happened you know so yeah i did rate this five stars as well but like i said i think i would give it 4.75 so that's all that i've read um i literally just wanted to get through the series moving on to my tbr for april I'm excited about this because these are the books that I've been wanting to read. Well, I'm getting through all of the old books that I bought like a year ago when I didn't really know what I wanted to read and I just got recommended authors so I was like, yep, I'll read this, this, this and this. So now I'm kind of down to the books that I actually want to read. For the first time ever, I'm reading two books at a time. First I'm going to talk about The Maidens. Oh, 
I like I'm literally up to chapter 10 and I already love it only because I love his writing so much I don't know why Alex Michaelides I think that's how you say his name I love the silent patient the way he wrote that to be honest actually in the silent patient I was kind of bored at the start but then I got into it with this I haven't been bored at all like from the get-go I've been like oh, what's going on I feel like he wrote this one better than he wrote silent patient as well so if you have read that and you enjoyed it I would recommend reading this I mean I haven't finished it so I don't know what's gonna happen it could get worse but so far I think it's gonna be a really good read and I haven't read a thriller in a while what I love about this book it's got one of those nice smooth covers and get a load of this look how floppy yeah I love floppy books it just makes it easy to read and you just it just feels nice like I'm so glad I bought this so so far I haven't read a lot but so far for me I'm just following we're following this woman whose husband died she's a like psychi psychiatrist group psychology leader <laughs> something about somebody's just died and then on the back it says something about a group that's run at Cambridge University like a society and it takes her back in time to when she was a student i have a feeling she's got like a secret past or she's done something blah 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 kind of the same vibes in a way silent patient yeah that's pretty much what i get from this so far but i'm really excited to finish reading this the next book that i'm reading at the moment is <laughs> girl in pieces don't mind the tabbing okay so the reason i'm reading two books at a time is because i'm annotating this one for a video if this video does end up going up it's me trying to work out how to annotate. I was deciding to tap each chapter, not realizing that this book doesn't really have chapters. It just has little dashes and they're very, they occur a lot. I need to trim these, but I'm also probably gonna take them out to be honest. I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, so Girl in Pieces, I honestly never really, see when I buy books, I don't actually read what they're about. I just buy them if they're recommended and if people say it's good because sometimes I read the backs of books and I'm like, that sounds really boring. So I just don't read them anymore. Um, but so far, I was following a girl, as far as I gather, who's in like a psych ward. She's obviously been through some stuff. I'm assuming there's family problems just from the things that she says. Um, and like there's other people there that are going through stuff as well. Um, I didn't really know it was gonna be about what it's about obviously i know there's more and there's going to be like a whole story behind it but i don't know for some reason because i obviously never read the back and i thought this was going to be at, be about like a really bad breakup and like because everyone said it was so sad i just assumed it was going to be a really sad love story with someone dying or something this cover i didn't until i read it i didn't realize the significance of the cover so trigger warning if you want to read this just make sure you research before um because i haven't read a lot either like i've literally read 20 pages i think it's probably going to get worse that honestly made me so sad when i understood what the front cover means i'm looking forward to finishing this if i get around to it because i'm putting it off because i don't want to annotate i might just scrap that video all together but who knows it might be up soon so just keep your eyes out in case so they're my two current reads at the moment enjoying both of them then i have another five books today has just been one of those days. I've mentioned in another video before that I have a few books on my TBR, like my physical TBR, that I want to read before I buy any more books. And I think I was at a point where I had about like 12 or something, I don't know, like at least 10. And I told myself, no, I'm not going to buy any more until I read all of them. I did end up buying a couple, but we'll just ignore that. And I've actually broken it down to, I mean, seven including the two that I'm reading currently, but other than that, I've got five other books left on my physical TBR. I literally have no other books. This is all that I have left that I'm going to try and read all this month. So then I can just go on a shopping spree and buy a bunch of books, bring you guys with me and just spoil myself. But anyway, so I will show you what I have left to read. The first book on my TBR is Twisted Love. Everyone has gone on about this series for such a long time and I still haven't read it. And the fact that it's a series is what puts me off because once I start obviously i've got to read the rest but also apparently the first book's boring i've just been trying to read all like my individual books before i read the series because like i said i'm gonna want to read the rest and i'm one of those people when i start a series as you probably realize from shadow me 
I have to read the whole series before I move on to something else. Otherwise, I just won't go back to it. Once again, don't really know what it's about. I think it's a fantasy. I mean, that's the vibe it gives from the back. Wait, maybe it's not. I think it's just her word choices. I know it's got some romance in there. Oh, okay. I don't think it's fantasy at all. Well, I don't know. We'll find out. We will find out what's going on with that one. The other book, um, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned before in a video, is Forever Interrupted. Um, I bought this when I first got introduced to Book Talk. Actually, I think it was before Book Talk, Book Talk became such a thing. Um, it was when I was literally just on Facebook in like these book groups, and I asked everyone, "Oh, like, what kind of authors do you guys read?" And people said Taylor Jenkins read. And this was back before anyone really, I don't know, promoted her other books. So. I just went to Kmart, I saw her, and I was like, oh, alright, I'll give her a go. I haven't picked it up yet. I've read Malibu Rising, and it was okay. It was a quick read. It'd be, it's a nice summer vibe, but it didn't really keep me hooked. I didn't love it, so I think that's what's keeping me from reading her other book. She just writes very realistic, like the stories that she writes, and I like to escape the real world when I read, so that's probably why I don't enjoy it that much but you know i might like it so we'll give it a go i'm thinking it's a romance yep it's a romance that's another thing i don't really read romance anymore oh she's 20 something years old that's like me on a rainy new year's day she heads out to pick pizza up for one she isn't expecting to see anyone else in the shop oh and in, in comes mr handsome i'm gonna try and read that one this month and the next book that i'm going to read is a Court of Mist and Fury. I've been putting this off because, like I said, I need to read the rest of my books before I get into a series. I was so sad at the end of A Court of Thorns and Roses because I wanted to keep reading the series and I didn't have the rest of the books. And then I went out and bought this just so that I knew I had it there and I could just stare at it and wait for the day that I wanted to read it. Well, wait for the day that I could read it. And now that I have it, I'm like, oh, I, keep, like I do want to read it, obviously. And I know this is the best one out of the series, but I'm also like, it was that long ago, but I'm a little bit over it now. But I am interested to see what happens with the rest of the series. And to be more, to get a little bit more of Reese in there. And understand why everyone hates Tamlin so much. Because I just couldn't enjoy the first book knowing that I was supposed to hate Tamlin. Or that I was going to hate him, he was going to do something bad. So we'll find out what happens with that. But yeah, if you haven't read um, the Akatar series, um, it's pretty much about this Huntress, Feyre. Um, well, she gets taken by Fae and taken to... Where do they live again? I don't know. See, I'm, I'm forgetting. But she gets taken by the Fae and we follow her journey and there's like politics and war and stuff that happens. And we're going to find out what happens in the next book. Oh my god, I can't believe she's... No, I was about to say I can't believe she's staying still. And then these two are my most anticipated reads the month because the the newest ones that i've purchased do you want to go in this bag she has a thing for going in bags like watch okay don't mind the mess but look anytime i put a bag on the floor she gets in it the first one is the atlas six i'm really excited to read this number one because i've really been into fantasy lately but number two because it's not the kind of fantasy that i've been reading like it's a bit different um i love the whole idea behind people having different magical powers so basically what it's about is it's about a society of like magicians that can do different things so there's only five places in the society and they're kind of like competing to get into it um which i think sounds really interesting i've never read anything like that before and this was highly recommended by Haley fam so the other book that i am really excited to read i don't know why i think it's just the cover that does it for me is the priory of the orange tree you guys probably saw in my first video when I bought this, so it's not been that long. I want to do an in-depth video of me reading this because I've been so excited to. But it's also, I know, another thing that's going to take me a while. And I'm kind of terrified to read this because of how thick it is. I'm pretty sure it's like a thousand pages long. Oh, 800. That was a bit dramatic of me. As far as I'm aware with this, it's kind of like a... It's like a girl power fantasy. There's dragons and she's getting in my... <laughs> What are you doing? She's on the bookshelf. Feminist Lord of the Rings, it says. Don't really know. I kind of just love the cover so much. I just think it's so pretty. So that's everything on my TBR. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ow! Just stay still. Keep your eyes out for 
whatever I post next, I don't know anymore. You don't know with me what's coming. So, yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. Kisses. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Ha 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 ha. All that jazz. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, thank you.